Hi friends, welcome back to Leap Before You Die channel. My name is Ripple and today I'll be doing book review on Ayn Rand's Anthem. Incidentally, Anthem is the shortest novel written by Ayn Rand. This was published in 1938 and having just 76 pages. So without much ado, let's start the book review. This novel is set up in future when society is being ruled by totalitarians and a normal human being is being treated like a machine. Humanity is so much suppressed that men are not even called by their names. For example, the protagonist in this novel is called Equality 72521. protagonist Equality 72521 wanted to become a scientist when he was growing up and he had all the abilities to become scientist. However, somehow the council told him to become a sweeper. He had no choice except to accept what the council said. No disagreements were allowed and he was supposed to respond as the will of our brothers be done. progresses, the protagonist Equality 72521 discovers a light bulb which was being used by an earlier civilization. So he picks up the bulb and he rushes to the council of ministers, the council of scientists, the council of scholars and told them, look, I've got the bulb. The darkness is gone. We can have light through these light bulbs and we don't have to use candles anymore. And guess what? Instead of being rewarded, he was instead reprimanded for this discovery by the council. And everybody stood against him. And the arguments that were given were, what will happen to the workers in candle factory? Humans are not made for artificial light. Artificial light is a sin. This situation is very similar to what Galileo faced when he discovered Earth revolves around Sun and not the other way around. Human being resistance to change is very beautifully explained here. So protagonist Equality 72521 runs away to an inhibited jungle and he felt so powerful, so independent not just in thoughts but in actions as well and he finally got the courage to think about himself, develop a self-esteem and learn to say the letter I. what New York Times has to say about this novel. A compelling dystopian look at paranoia from one of the most unique and prospective writers of our time. This brief captivating novel offers a cautionary tale. This is a short and sweet novel by Anne Rand which tells how bad a totalitarian society can become in future. So I would recommend you to read this novel. Thank you.